Gordon, thank you for joining us. Gordon, explain to us what the return of Academy football has been like with the backdrop of COVID-19. I think the return's been great so far. I mean, we had a long layoff, um, virtual programmes, um, Zoom events, and then now to get the kids back on the, the Astros and playing games in a national games programme is, is certainly a benefit for us all. And, and seeing the kids back playing with a smile on their face is always great. What's the, the kind of biggest impact that you and your coaching team have seen on young people through COVID? I think the biggest impact we've seen is the smiles on their faces when they return and, and the enjoyment that they have when they hear that we've unfortunately through COVID have, have sadly missed. Um, yeah, and seeing them back again on the pitch and playing and returning to games as well is, is brilliant. You touched on it there, Ross County are part of the National Games programme. I would imagine COVID brings with it a lot of new challenges for, for you and your team in being part of that National Games programme. Yeah, certainly, and add COVID onto the back of that as well. I think the easy bit is to get the kids on the pitch now, and once they're playing, that's that's the, the good bit. I mean, to get kids to games and the travelling and the aspects to get them all there and COVID on top of that and how many you can fit on a bus as well as relying on parents at times to get kids two games for us depending on the length and breadth of the country we we cover but yeah again we're committed to playing a national games program and we think it's the best benefit for our kids within our area. The community team will be heading back out on the road when the summer break kicks in in a, a week or so's time. It must be a great feeling for, for you and the community guys to be able to go back out to these far and wide areas that you've not been able to in recent times. Yeah, definitely. I think we've we've done a lot less than what we used to do because, of, again, of COVID. And it's great to put a full summer programme back on the, on the map and and try and maintain the the levels of participation we had before within the islands in Stornoway and Orkney, um, as well as our local stuff here in Dingwall. Um, and create stronger links with our partnerships in Orkney, Orkney Football Academy, Caithness United, um, as well as the SFA helping supporting us, making sure it's possible for us to go to these islands and then, as we'll see from the, the uptake, the courses, the return from and the uptake and the kids applying to come on is, has been brilliant. How important is it for Ross County, as the club for the Highlands, to continue supporting these outreach areas, your, your Orkneys, your Shetlands, your Western Isles, on a more regular basis? I think it's vital. I think if you look at it, we, we are a club from Dingwall, but we have a, a reach across the Highlands and Islands, and we must look at how we can engage with not only kids in Dingwall and Rosher, but also in the, in the Islands, Stornoway, Sky, Orkney, even Shetland as well, um, and how we create links with them and hopefully one day they'll be either playing for our academy or coming down and watch the the team on the pitch on a Saturday. You, you touched on it there, your summer programme kicks off fairly soon, you launched it a couple of weeks ago, tell us about the response to it because it's been very very quickly uptaken. The response has been incredible, um, I mean our Stornoway course for example sold out within a matter of hours. Um, our Orkney course is, is near at capacity, we've got three spaces left in that, as well as our Dingwall um, camp next week is also sold out. So I mean the, the uptake from the, the parents and kids' engagement and participation has certainly been, been boosted by the return of allowing us to get back on the pitch with the kids after COVID as well. One way you could look at it is in saying that the success of these community courses by getting the numbers filled. The other success I would say is to see all these kids coming with a smile on their face and enjoying the participation of the programmes. Yeah 100% I mean seeing the kids run about and being involved in the pitch again as well as like you say the smiles on their faces the amount of kids that have got Ross County strips on and, and in turn having that um, participation base allows us to then filter into long term our, our academy structure and our recruitment and and trying to get these local kids from participation into an academy setup and hopefully one day on the pitch just like we did with, with Josh Reed. You've also been back in the school, something that I know there's been a lot of emphasis on. It's been such a successful almost two years now within the school environment. 
something that I imagine you'll be keen to grow and see continue to develop on the, the strong foundations that have been built? Yeah, 100%. I mean, since we came back from from being off from COVID, we've, we've managed to deliver 170 sessions within schools. We would want to boost this further and, and are going to be putting a massive drive on on pushing this and trying to get back into schools as well as working with our commercial team and, and Lorraine and the guys to try and drive support again from the businesses who helped us massively in, in allowing us to get into the schools um, as well as launching a couple of new programs uh, through secondary schools as well and, and hopefully get a good return and help develop each individual within that school and again deliver participation football to, to a wider audience. I think my head is solely focused on on delivering football to kids no matter what it is, whether it's within the community and a, a wee eight-year-old or delivering a structured session in the hope that we can get an 18-year-old or a 17-year-old closer to um, the first team structure and into some sort of full-time football. And again, the cutthroat business of football, that's not going to be possible for everyone. And then how do we give everyone an enjoyable experience and, and they still leave as a Ross County fan. Gordon, thank you for your time and uh, all the best for your tour of the Highlands over the next few weeks. Thanks, Dale.